good evening this is my final video for the day well looks as if we're not going to be complete with the project until next thursday y'all <laughs> and the reason is that jd has a moving job tomorrow at four and he doesn't think that he will be done shoring it up by then so as you can see hold on let me back up oh the sun's in the way but let me move over okay as you can see it is pretty much together we got two pieces to go and what we're trying to figure out it got cold on us again and it's late and we're both tired and when you get tired you get irritable okay so we stopped we was like let's just stop so the numbers we have left is we have fours the four pipes and then we have the ten pipes and then we have the sixes where we're confused is that we know that we only have three fours left and it should be a fourth four and we know it's not missing a piece so we think we have a piece we have a four mixed up with one of the and we're short a six so we think we have one mixed up so we decided to call it a day study the map figure out where the piece is and go from there we have the correct number of tens the tens is going to be the the, the beam the roof so those are going to go along the points that you see there so we're just about done you can see it yep you can see it and excuse the view y'all at least that'll be blocked <laughs> but anyway so this is it so JD, he has to do a moving job at four o'clock. So he's going to leave here at about three. And we know we're not going to be done with the wood. But the reason why we picked Thursday is because number one, Thursday is my payday. And so that's going to free up the extra money that I need. I can get my flooring and I can also get, I'm going to get go back and get those braces. So we won't brace tomorrow, but he will start the framing tomorrow after we get the greenhouse complete. So it's just about complete. We got maybe 10 minutes to go. And then, oh, we, he paid attention this time. We did not tighten any bolts because we knew that bolts were gonna have to fit in with other bolts. So we left them loose and we just went on and got it assembled. It took us about 30 minutes to finish the third tier and this right here this is where we think there's a mix-up these might take fours but we have three no we have 13s there so that's what we're getting ready to study to figure out if we accidentally put the 13s in fact if you look at this one this one is 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 wrong but they're, they're totally uneven you can tell now on that end they're even so we know the wrong one is right here so anyway and lots of times you just need fresh eyes so when we get up tomorrow uh we'll get this figured out but i'm gonna let him know that 13 shouldn't even be there yep so it's just a mix up and so i think that's a that might be an 11 or yeah i think that's an 11 right there because you can look you can look and tell where did jd i thought i heard him i was gonna show it to him now but anyway, we'll get this figured out. And once we get it figured out, then we'll have the right number. Wait, is that him? JD, come here for a minute. I just saw something while filming. And you know what? We have found numerous mistakes with the company too. Uh, some of these numbers, and what we do is we measure. We've been measuring, JD had his tape measure. And not only did JD have his tape measure to measure, we would compare the parts and some of the parts had a different number on it than what it actually was. Yo, what's up? Come look at this. I want to show you something real quick. You figured it out? Uh, I'm, we getting there, okay? <laughs> See this one? See this? Uh -huh. Okay, you, you got about two inches from the top to that, right? Right. Now look at this one. You got more than two inches. That's just because it's not sturdy yet. Oh, is okay. that it? Yeah. Okay. But anyway. Hey, hey, hey it is locked. <laughs> You're growing in that totally level. Yeah, that's true. 
Okay, we so like I said, we got the tens, we got some sixes and fours, and then we're done. Yeah, thank you. Put that up against the. I'm already at Drake. I'm winding down for the day. Yeah. So we're going to come out tomorrow, tackle it. We're going to study, look at, we're going to look at the video, study, and then tomorrow we'll get this knocked out. We probably got about 10 minutes worth of work. And went on the AI site. <laughs> to figure out that. You, you to go to artificial intelligence to figure this out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway, so we're gonna do that, and then we will get the tarp. Well, we'll we'll start the framing, and like I said, JD will come back Thursday, and that's gonna be a fresh day for me because I get paid, he gets paid, so yeah, gonna he going fishing. He going fishing once we get done, but I will have freed up money to finish this off so I can at least get the flooring. I'm supposed to be going tomorrow, but we got to finish this. Well, no, not only that. Then why, why are you leaving tomorrow? You got to do a move. Yeah, thank you. So anyway, uh, yeah. So, yeah, but it, it, I think it's going to. We have came a long way considering the vague instructions. Right. You need I think we did a pretty good job, you, need you guys. instructions for the instructions, okay? Right. They so, need uh, to have given written instructions. So if you're thinking about getting this, this greenhouse, the Yeeta Homes greenhouse, remember, you well, will not get, you will not get right or correct instructions. You got to, you better have, you better be on genius level just about. <laughs> Hey, we've been fussing back and forth all day. I told him it gets it got frustrating, so we decided to end it for the day. You know, and and that happens. You know, he made mistakes, I made mistakes, and we made mistakes, and together. we made mistakes together, but not too many. You know, we didn't, and we took a lot of breaks, and we ate. You know, I went and got the chicken, and we ate, and we got back out here at six thirty. It's just now about seven. You know, it's a serious accomplishment to get that far. Yeah. So remember, if you if, if you go get one of these greenhouses, make sure that you can read. Uh, and one person is not going to do it. By the oh, no, it, it takes three. But we managed with two with the help of the. OK. Yeah. With the help of the bricks propped and with the help. And it's 30 now with the exception. It's a little floppy because we didn't tighten down the screws, but it's, it's but it's pretty sturdy. Uh, on the screws that are tightened, the bottom screws are tightened. We didn't, we didn't uh, do the top you screws. Don't touch you have to the right, screws right. The old, the, the, the next screws in. Yeah, exactly. That's why, that's why you don't tighten. Right, that's why we didn't. But it's not even moving, and it's windy. Now earlier it was floppy until we got the got it built pretty much. But I think it's a cute little greenhouse, and I can see where. Although I am gonna do some shoring at the top. I can see where it's snowproof because it's pointed at the top. It cleared my wires, which I was happy about. There's plenty of room for me to stand. It was plenty of room for JD to stand. He was like, okay, this is nice. He thinks it's about six and a half feet. And that's fine. I'm only five foot six. And then tomorrow we I told him we, we need to get these trees because I want if we can move those trees to the side of the house, then I can take it from there. You know, so. Yeah, because those are too heavy. I might wait till Thursday because I know we're going to be dealing with this greenhouse. So we can wait till Thursday to get those trees moved. So I'm not going to be able to do any cleaning. I'll clean what I can. and uh, But I can't put anything in there in the spot yet. I would love to, but until we get that tarp on and until we get it shored up or modified. Yeah. So keep in mind, although the ground is unlevel, keep in mind, once we get that wood underneath it it's gonna it's gonna bring it up another inch because we we went with one inch wood that's all we needed and the guy at home depot the man who gave me the good deal on the wood because we wanted to get the treated because they had some clearance treated too it cost a little bit more and i could have gotten that he said nope you don't want pressure treated he said because the chemicals that they use in the pressure treated wood will ruin he said that any type of vegetation, he said, and if you, since you're using the greenhouse for your crops, he said it can seep. He said, because the greenhouse gets hot, which it does, y'all know, it's gonna be over a hundred degrees in there real quick, you know, so, ooh, and that reminds me, I gotta buy a thermometer. But anyway, um, he said that heat can activate the chemicals in the wood and, and it, those chemicals can get to your crops. He said, so you want to not use pressure treated. He said that wood will last. 
he said it's not gonna go anywhere no time soon you know because wood does give you know if it's not treated and he said if i want to treat it i can buy my own treatment and just look at the specs of the treatment and uh he said it it, it could be food safe or environmentally safe he said but what they use for the their pressure treated wood is the the highest most industrial because they want that wood to basically last forever. So he advised me to get non-pressure treated. And then he offered me the 70% off on it. So, yep. So here it is, y'all. One last look. So since I'm on here, we do have a whoop, whoop, whoop. Seed alert, seed alert. Oh, look at my strawberries, y'all. They starting to come back. Because these didn't even have, I didn't even see them. And they're starting to spread. I see some new ones in there, some babies. Okay, I'm just looking, y'all. And my cold crops are looking good. We got a hard frost tonight, too. <laughs> coming, they said. But my cabbage is coming along. So while we're waiting on JD to come back, I'm going to get these cold crops. Ooh, and I need to water this cabbage. Hold on, I hope I got some water. Yes, I do. Not the cabbage, the greens. That's just as dry. After all that rain, you would have thought that these would have would have not uh, dried out like that. Okay, let's get these water real quick since I'm out here. Yes, but what I'm gonna do is move. I'm gonna move uh, the uh, cold crops uh, probably Tuesday, and then that'll be it. Okay, so let's go in for the seed alert, y'all. Excuse the mess. This whole house is a mess. I'll be getting back with it. I'll be getting back with the death cleaning next week while I'm waiting on JD to return on Thursday. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Seed alert. You know what? My pineapple ground chair is not dying, but it's curling up. And I don't know if something's wrong because the rest of them look good. So I might lose one. Oh, and I need to hit some water. And this uh, red cherry tomato here. So, got that done. Okay. I'm just making sure. Yep. The top one to the left. The top to the left. Go to your left. The top drawer. Okay. Now, I watered these last night. We have two yellow squash for the seed alert. One, two. We have two more marshmallows. We have two more nastrodum. We have one more borage. We only got that one extra sunflower, so I'll probably give my sister two of them, and then I'll take one. We got a jambalaya okra, y'all. There it is. And we still have a white okra, so I'm hoping to get some more of the okra, at least two more of each, or one more of each. And we have that extra San Mazzano tomato. Uh, we got a patty pan squash. Two didn't come up yet. But, you know, I can direct sow the patty pan squash later. And we didn't get the Minnesota melon yet, nor did we get the tiger melon. But we can wait. We got the Crenshaw and the Korean. And the Korean was all important for me. And we haven't gotten any eggplants yet. And that I'm not expecting for another, at least another week. And let me cut on my heating mats, heating pads rather. Okay, so that's it. So I'm going to end this now. So you all have a nice evening. This is the final video of the day. And uh, you all have a nice evening. And may God bless you all. Bye-bye.